for me. Um, we've been planting down some of our fruit and veggie and herb plants into our Nordic garden. Today is the right day to plant them to get the best out of them according to the Astro Calendar. But I've also been busy in my kitchen and that I forgot that ah I should recorded all this uh, to share with you but it's not too late. I'll just explain what I've been doing. Um, I bought a corn silver side today and I'm gonna make it for dinner. It's actually in the pot and it's halfway cooking already uh, but I thought I would just share with you what I've done and I'm also making a fresh loaf of bread to go with it. So come along and have a look in my pot and in the bread maker and we'll see what we can find. As you can see bubbling happily away my pot is the corn silver side which I purchased this morning and I've um, soaked it for an hour in cold water before I cook it to get rid of the excess salt and after that I put it in this pot with some cold water and brought it to the bowl and then I changed uh, the water. I threw away that round because it's got all the scum and everything on it and I started with a fresh water and I put in one carrot which is roughly cut, a uh, stalk of celery, also roughly cut, an onion, uh, quartered, and a bit of spices uh, or herbs, or well, spices like um, some cloves, uh, two star anise, and some peppercorns. I've also got in um, three or four fresh bay leaves, which I just got from my garden. And um, what else have I missed? Oh yeah, some celery stalks that I also got from the garden. It's so nice to be able to just go to the garden and get whatever you want for your cooking. I find it uh, so much fun um, in my everyday cooking. Okay, that will cook for another, I say, between 40 minutes to another hour till uh, the meat gets softened and then I'll serve it up with some bread. As you can hear, that is the sound of the bread machine um, baking. It's a convection bread maker. Um, and that's my beautiful loaf. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, I got this uh, second hand or used of eBay. And uh, I have another one which is a Sunbeam Cool Bag. Uh, that one cooks by a uh, heating element. This one cooks uh, with convection. I thought it'd be nice to have two and see what each other can do or can't do. So it's been fun experimenting with them. And um, what I'm baking here is just a light rye. Uh, there's uh, about quarter of rye uh, ratio to the bread flour. All right, we are outside now in. Uh the garden. I'm up on the veranda and I'm zooming in on our Nordic garden. As you can see all those uh, bobs of plants, those are our herbal tea plants. Uh, mostly geraniums, different types of geraniums. And um, where you see those posts sticking up, well, we've planted down some snake beans or long beans. I really love them. They're good in curries and stir fries very versatile veggie and uh, right at the back we've also planted some tomato plants and we've also got um, sweet potato and um, soon we'll be planting in the pumpkins uh, when it starts sprouting so that is the Nordic garden and as you can see all my pets are happy enjoying all the long grass down there Honey, Lao Hu, and Sayi, alpacas. Alright, well, the beep has gone off and the bread is ready. I'll have to let it cool down for about 10 minutes or so before I take it out from the pan. So we'll come back and have a look after that. Hi, um, the corned beef is ready, so is my bread. As you can see in the background, it's got a beautiful loaf of home baked bread from the bread maker and I said that I was going to serve the corned beef um, 
with some of this freshly baked bread and steamed cabbage. Well, I think I'm just gonna braise the cabbage in this uh, in the stock that the corned beef has been cooking in. That will give it extra sweetness and. Uh, the sweetness from the veggie too will go into the stock so they will complement each other um, and um, the other thing I had to show you was to keep the whole piece of cabbage together so it doesn't fall apart when you put it into the soup or the stock is I, did, I thought of this idea just tying it up very simply okay I'll show you how I hope it works this might just <laughs> attempt at doing it this way Now, just tie a knot and get another piece. This is a uh, cooking twine. I got it from the supermarket and I've been using it to tie up my roast pork and smoked ham and stuff. It's very handy to have around. Voila! So, here you have it. That way, it will keep its shape and it will not break into pieces after it gets cooked and you can just fish out the whole thing and serve it beautifully. I'll show you how after this. Here's our cabbage stewing in the pot and I'll let it um, sit there for probably 15 minutes or so until it's tender. And I might even just leave it there till it's time to serve um, because then it would absorb more of the flavour from the stock. So, hi, it's time for dinner and I just want to show you what I prepared this afternoon and the results of what I've been doing. First is the bread, I'm going to slice it up. is really good. Um, see how well it has turned out. So sometimes it's worthwhile investing in a bread maker. It takes a lot of work out of making bread uh, manually but you still get the freshest, the most tasty and the best looking loaf. This is the corned beef suicide that I cooked earlier and I'm about to slice it for my dinner. Um, you'll see how it goes. already just looking at it. Okay, so how much I'd like to have. About four slices. And we put this back here. And I shall plate it out. So here you have it, um, that's my dinner and I'm going to enjoy it with a glass or two of our own organic wine. Uh, this vintage is a 2008 Cabernet Sauvignon. It will go really well with um, the bride and the silver side. <laughs>